Hi guys, I hope you're okay and you've had a good day. Um, now that we're moving from summer into autumn, we're starting to think a bit more about temperature regulation. Um, there's obviously now not the heat of summer and trying to regulate your temperature when the temperature in the environment fluctuates so much. When you've got chronic fatigue syndrome, it's even more difficult. Um, I have several tricks up my sleeve. Um, for when I'm hot, I have this cool scarf, and it's like a neck scarf that you soak in water for five minutes, and the crystals inside soak up the water and it will keep you cool for up to eight hours so that's really good and i tie my hair back as well um, as i said in my managing long hair video you can actually use your hair to excuse me help regulate your temperature um, so you know when you're warm when you're too warm, you can tie it back, and when you're cooler, you can even do different styles depending on how warm you are or cool you are. Um, so you can have it in a loose ponytail, or you can have it in a plait. Um, so yeah, that's one of the things that I do to keep warm. Um, also, I have loads and loads of blankets, um, so when one is in the wash, I still have plenty to choose from, and I have blankets of different thicknesses as well, um, because even that can make a difference for somebody with fatigue syndrome. If you've got a blanket on that's too thick, you can be too hot. If you've got one on that's too thin, you can still be cold. And finding the right one can be really difficult when you've got chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, another thing I have that I can't actually reach at the moment is a onesie, um, which is fleece lined, and that's really warm and it's really good in the winter. Um, so that really helps. Um, so, yeah, and obviously having the heating on when it starts getting colder can, although it can help you to stay warm, when you've got chronic fatigue syndrome it can make you too warm, so you, it's difficult to find a balance and of course you don't want to make anybody in the house, else in the house uncomfortable. Um, so it can be really difficult because you're trying to manage your temperature without affecting other people and it can be really frustrating. So if you know somebody with chronic fatigue syndrome, please be patient with them because it can be really difficult to regulate your temperature um, and very frustrating when you're having trouble doing it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just trying to think, there's something else I wanted to mention as well, um, I'm having trouble remembering it. Um, oh yeah, um, I also, in the winter when it's really cold, I also get um, get out my endless scarves. They're like scarves where the ends are sewn together and you can put them around your neck and loop them through and I find that really helpful because um, then you can warm yourself up without making yourself too warm um, so yeah um, that's all I have to say and thank you for watching please hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already and I'll see you again tomorrow bye